One more thing, fuck what you done heard about the loud We feel the greatest sound, rubber band instead of platinum I'm a hustler, not a rapper Alright, welcome back to the channel guys, man This is a continued series of That Boy Good Now, I ain't, I'm not gonna cap to y'all, man I just went ahead and just finished the rest of the whole season And it got boring, man As far as playing cornerback, it got boring <laughs> You know what I mean? So I was playing more as the video goes on As we were running down the top 25 You know what I mean? It, I finished this season with seven inceptions It, it just, I just felt like you know it just wasn't bringing that excitement you know what i mean yeah a couple of picks here now but it is you it was just not fun for me you know what i mean so i went ahead and you know played the rest of the season you know offline you know then uploaded just offline you can see Jalen hurts wins the heisman followed by justin fields joe burrow sam elliger and whoever willis is from virginia tech now, luckily in this game, you get to change positions at the end of each at, at, at the end of each season, you know what I mean? Leading up to your senior season. So if you feel quarterback and you feel like you're gonna play defense, you can do that. So that's what I ultimately did, man, is we checking out the season stacks. As Pickett had a hard season, man. Luckily he's a junior, so hopefully he can come back with that experience. You know what I mean? Carter, luckily he's a sophomore. He nearly racked up 1,300 yards, man. But that yard per average has to go up, man. 16 rushing touchdowns. Pickett added 216. Sibley added 210 with three touchdowns. So the running game is there. You know what I mean? They Luckily, we got our lead in Russia coming back. You know what I mean? Luckily for, for French, <laughs> you know, he's a senior. He's leaving Mac. He's a red circle joint. So hopefully he's coming back because he lead that leadership of that wide receiver group. Greg is leaving, you know what I mean? It's a lot of upper class and leaving, so we got some on the underclassmen that you know got a taste of playing time. So now it's really we're gonna depend on those people, you know what I mean? Right? Well, he's gonna be he's gonna leave, man. Five sacks, four interceptions. Luckily, I'm praying that Jones comes back, man. 19 sacks on the season, man. We get you know to one Taiwan back. Hopefully, I'm saying that pronouncing that right. We get him back. We get we. I'm really hoping we get Weaver back, man. That one-two punch with Jones and Weaver, yo, we can use that. You know, continue to build on the program. As you can see, that boy Demar Hamlin, you know, he's gonna fill a big gap, man. The Jim Thorpe Award winner Campbell. Look at him, man. Seven interception. I feel like I could do more than that. You know what I mean? So that's why I made the decision to shift to free safety. You know what I mean? Not only just you coveraging in the section, man, we get to blitz and just roam the field, man. You know what I mean? So, and plus on top of that, it feels the void of Hamlin and leaving. So, we got that experience. So, he, you know, he, that boy, good 6'4, buck 98. He's going to continue to gain weight as, you know, as college career goes on. You know what I mean? So just looking at our team. So we got Coleman who really doesn't have that experience. So he's going to turn into, this is before you started a new season. So he's going to be a senior. You know what I mean? We get Ford back. And, you know, that boy good in Ford back there, man. And it's going to be a dangerous combination. But for our cornerbacks, it's going to leave, you know, not a lot of experience. So, I mean, <laughs> things had to be done, man, for real. It just, it just got boring playing corner. You know what I mean? They throwing to everybody but you. You know what I mean? But for safety, yo, free safety. You know what I mean? You get the blitz, you get the cover, you get to. No, no, you just so much more you can do as a safety. You know what I mean? From my perspective. And like I say, that Jones and Weaver, hopefully we get that one two punch coming back because, yeah, we. we <laughs> Jones led the nation to sacks with 19. As you can see, it's, it's the spring game. You actually play a spring game before the start of the season to get a feel for your team. So that's actually a, a, a good thing right here. They tried deep, man, but hey, you know, inexperienced corners going to have to step up. And right here again, I'm not going to try not to pronounce your last name, dude. <laughs> but he makes a reception, fourth and eight right here. And, and, you know, the spring game rules, you have to go for it on all four downs. You know what I mean? And if you stop them, you get a certain amount of points. I'm not too familiar how many points, but you must make a stop and you get points. You know what I mean? Sibley, we get on the stat sheet and we rack up with tackles. That's what I mean, man. We get a blitz when you want to. We get the cover. 
You know what I mean? That, that leadership on that back end, like I said, it leaves a void in the cornerback position. But it's just, like I say, them, them young corners are going to have to step up, man. Most definitely. And you know, having Jones and Weaver, man, that want to that that'll help us out a lot. They'll take a lot of pressure off them corners. You know what I mean? So right here, fourth and six, we're leading three to nothing, and we are the blue, the blue team. You know what I mean? And right here. I just got too excited. I mean, I, yo, anxious, man. <laughs> Almost had an instruction right there. Simply takes the hand off and he get plastic, man. And we are leading six to nothing. You know what I mean? Third and seven. Here. I would not, you know, when I'm done with this, you have to play offense. I'm not going to show that. I might show one or two clips. And right here, we <laughs> caused the interception, but we should have had that, man. And that was Marcus Williams actually within the search, man. So he definitely brings some kind of experience on that secondary. You know what I mean? Pines get there for the sack. And we are leading 11 to nothing right here. Similarly with a nice catch, but, yo, them young corners are stepping up, man. And I believe Marcus Williams, it all starts with Marcus Williams. You know what I mean? He had a lot of sacks last year, a lot of interceptions. So he bring that leadership. He's the, 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 the cornerback one, most definitely. Right here, play action. That's not going to work. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. See, we get to sit back and coverage, you know, get a feel for the whole field, man. Get an outlook of the whole field, man. It just, and right here, yo, offensive line got to do a better job, man. Fort with his second sack of the game. A nice open field tackle right there. Like I said, outside of Marcus Williams, you know, the young secondary, especially the corners, have to step up, man. Going into this year, man, we got a, a big expectations, man, from the fans. Not only that, from the coaching staff, man. The coaching staff is challenging us, man. Especially the cornerbacks and secondary. And right here, great jump right there. I believe that was Jones, man. Hopefully, Jones, that's a sign of him coming back, man. And right here, I don't know what that was, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? But we are leading 28 to nothing right here. Play action pass and I run committed. I run committed, but we was hawking them down though. <laughs> I run committed. That's the price we pay for thinking that they're gonna run. And one second left. And right here, he gets it out quick. And that's you know, end of the first half, man. We're up 28 to 2, man. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you know 36 seconds left in the game. You, you might see this in the future, you know what I mean. That boy good on that quarterback, wildcat, receiver, whatever, man. You just never know. You know what I mean? He's too dynamic just not to be on the field. You know what I mean? Right here, we are trying to score, man. We really trying to score. You know what I mean? Second and three right here. Another read option right here. Oh, look at the speed, man. Can you imagine? Yo, like, can you imagine this dude on offense? It'd be unreal, man. That's we end up winning the game 34 to 16. They tried to make a comeback though. And this is the start of the new season, man. We got some true freshmen in. You know, Thomas Towns right here. He has the speed, has a little bit of arm, but definitely need improves on the accuracy, if you ask me. You know what I mean? We got two true freshmen. We got Flag Carter. We got three freshmen running back, actually. Foster, Paul Foster got some speed on him, man. Definitely got some speed on him. So I'm interested to see how the coaching staff is going to use him you know, in the new look offense. We got Robinson, 161, 160. Got some speed. Well, yo, we got some speed at, at running back, finally. You know what I mean? I mean, that's receiver. My apologies, just receiver. So we got a, a kind of true freshman that's 80 plus, man. So I know they that's at least a four or five star. You know what I mean? You got some kind of experience offensive line. Not the brightest, not the best, but and Jones and Weaver is back, baby. Let's go. Nice to see them boys back, man. I don't know where he's from in New Jersey, but hey. <laughs> Definitely has the, the, the best speed of the bunch. You know what I mean? Josh Clayton, true freshman. Not too far, man, from Pennsylvania. Like I said, it, it is for defense, man, it all starts up front, man. Them two defense in Jones and Weaver. 
sets the entire tone for defense. Not for defense, the whole entire team. You know what I mean? That senior leadership. I mean, right here, Brandon Gibbs, kind of like a nice speed on him. You know what I mean? Look at this, man. <sighs> I wish I wouldn't have left corner, but I know it's for the best, man. It's going to bring better content, man. It's going to be hits, sacks, interceptions, everything, man. And I overall will go up. You know what I mean? So don't worry about that. True freshman, 6'3", 190. Got some nice size on them, man. Eric Wilson, another true freshman. But, you know, overall, the team, I feel like we can, you know, the sky's the limit for us. It really is. And like I say, 26 tackles, 7 to 7, no sacks, bro. That's all going to change, man. That's all going to change. Just looking at the stats, you know, definitely to prove on attacking a little bit. The strength. I'm not too worried about awareness because I control them. You know what I mean? Work on the agility, acceleration. Other than that, yo, you got a top flight safety. You feel me? So, heading to year two, Justin Field, Trevor Lawrence. You got Hamler, Jamar Chase, Martinez. Those are the five finalists for the Heisman uh, Trophy, man. Just look at that top 25. You got Boston College. You got Michigan. You got Tennessee. You got West Virginia, two-year probation. <laughs> you got Mississippi State, two-year probation. You got Baylor at 20. You got Notre Dame. You got Michigan State. You got Penn State. You got Stanford. You got Texas. Oklahoma State, you got Missouri, you got LSU at 12, Nebraska at 11. At number 10 is us, man. So a lot of expectation. I said that earlier, man. Florida State at nine, number 9, Wisconsin, Virginia Tech. You got Georgia, boo. You got Oregon at 5, Florida at 4, Clemson at 3, Ohio State at 2, and Oklahoma is at 1. But we are winding down towards the end of the video, man. As you can see, this is our schedule. We got Buffalo. We got Maine. We got Iowa. We got bye week, bye week. We got Rutgers. We got Syracuse. We got USF. We got Utah. We got Louisville. West Virginia. Cincinnati. Yukon. And Notre Dame. So that's the end of the video, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all to death. Until next time, I'm gone.